How to withdraw AVEX from KuCoin to MetaMask. Hey guys, welcome into this new video. In today's tutorial, I'm, I'm going to show you how we can withdraw our AVEX token and send it into our MetaMask wallet. So first of all, what you guys need to do is to have your uh, KuCoin open, as you can see. I'm in here, I'm gonna select my dashboard so you can see something like this. So after that, you want to select your wallet, which is in here, and then you go into your main account. Now, while we have that information, we want to have our MetaMask extension opened in our browser. If you haven't used MetaMask extension in your browser, you just need to get into MetaMask of Google and install it, it's more, it won't take you more than one minute. It was be, it's actually really simple. Now. What we want to do is to open a new tab and look for coin market cap because if you open your metamask and you try to uh, find the avalanche uh, token you won't able you won't be able to find it because this one operates with the smart chain and if this is the first time you're operating with the avalanche in metamask you're most likely to don't have this network called smart chain so if you want to add this smart chain you just get into metamask Go into your networks and go into add network and now this information we're going to receive it from the binance academy so i'm going to select metamath marching network and you're going to see like this so what you want to do guys is to scroll down until you find this information and it will be just as simple to copy this information and paste it right in here after that you just click into save so you can go back into your metamask now that we are into our smart chain network just hitting here select smart chain and let's go into endpoint tokens so this information we're going to be receiving it from coin market cap so once we are in coin market cap you want to find the avax token that would be avalanche so i select this one and then you're going to see uh this information that says contracts so we have the bmv smart chain so whether you can copy this direction this address or you can select the metamask icon so you can be receiving a pop-up of the metamask notification that you just need to import the avax token so i'm going to select this one now as you can see the avax is now in the metamask wallet so what we want to do now is to copy our wallet address and let's go back into the kucoin now once we are here in kucoin you want to select the one that says retro because we want to send uh, coins from KuCoin to another wallet. So I'm going to select AVAX. This would be right here. And then I'm going to paste my wallet address of MetaMask. So if you select your address and you don't see the smart chain, you can select the AVAX C chain. But in order to use that, we need to go back into AVAX. And remember to go into Google and tap for this information so we can copy paste this one i'm gonna copy this so this is just in case the uh, smart chain doesn't work for you guys so let's get into save and now let's go back into our metamask so we can copy again the address now from the avex uh, network so as you can see avalanche network i select this one now let's go ahead and copy right here avex c chain and if you want to select a minimum amount you just go ahead and select this one uh, in this case, I need a little bit more of that to make the transaction. But after you've done that, you just get into confirm. It won't take more than 30 minutes or 5 minutes. Uh, you're going to see a confirmation here on KuCoin and your email that the transaction has been done correctly. And if you go into your MetaMask, I'm going to show you a transaction that I just done a few days ago. So I'm going to select a Polygon network because I did it into the Polygon. Uh, I did it with Matic. So if you select the token that you received, you just select the token and you're going to see the transaction that was sent uh, the exact date from what uh, address to what address. So as you can see, this is the transaction, this is the confirmation. But anyways, uh, if you have any questions, you can leave it down below in the comments. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, guys, if you want to see more about these apps. Thank you for watching the video and I'll be seeing you guys in the next one.